Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of What's My Collection and for today's episode, we have a very special person here. I mean, if you guys don't know, he's been on the show last time already. It's Dexter. So, Hi guys. Dexter is actually the founder of Street and Soul Superior, Singapore's number one locally grown sneaker event. Is that right to say? Yes, yes, number one. Um, yeah. One of the two lah, one of the two. <laughs> no, the best, the best. Yeah, for me it's the best lah. <laughs> David and I are both still very blown away by what we have here. Let's get Dexter to just do a quick introduction of his collection and then like, you know, how long has he been collecting and stuff because this guy's a real OG, you know, for the sneaker in Singapore. Okay, I mean this collection is the result of like, I think close to 16 years of collecting. I collected since I was in JC la, so I was like 15 or 16 years old. And then uh, from there was a bit, then slowly when I worked at sneaker shops, like I think the previous interview I mentioned, I started buying a lot. Obviously you can see a lot of preference for Nike, but that was what I grew up on. And with respect to what particular model, I can see a lot of Air Force Ones, which is yeah. what I, I like a lot. La. So this one is uh, not only my collection, by the way, just to have a disclaimer. Some of it is my dad, some of it is my girlfriend, some of it is my brothers. We all just uh, put it all together because it's convenient for us to just take a look. Yeah, so a lot of pairs, uh, some took some hunting, some is just by dumb luck, winning raffles or like friends uh, hooking me up. But a lot of stories here, so glad you all can actually finally see the fruit of my hard work. The last time he did a review video was like five years ago. Yeah, the last so, time the collection was shown was five so years ago. We are like the, 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 we are the shit now. <laughs> yeah. So let's get into the question proper because sure. if not, we're, we're gonna just continue to Google at this. Okay, so I will split into two questions, two, two part answer. Lah. Oh, one is the first pair I ever teacher bought. Style, teacher style, teacher style, teacher style. The yeah. first pair I ever bought, and the one is I, I really like the most among all these. Lah. So the first pair I ever bought, I still have it. Yeah. So this one is the first pair that I ever uh, uh, bought. It is a pair of Terminator Lows. It's the Truth Your School series of uh, Syracuse. So this one was available at all places, right? It was available at Left Foot very long ago. Mm -hmm. So the wow. story behind this is that uh, the first pair I ever wanted to buy, uh, ever with my own hard-earned cash, was from 77th Street. I'm not too sure you all remember. The huh, they sell shoes? They used to sell sneakers. They used to have uh, Air Forces and Serious? Ducks. Yeah. I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought you just pierce here, buy earring and buy... No, no, no. <laughs> so last time the OGs, 77th Street used to sell sneakers. Then the best part is that there was a pair of uh, Easter Air Force ones that I wanted. I went there to buy with my parents. My mom said that that color is too feminine. Okay, said, don't buy. She said that if you don't buy it, I will go to left foot with you and I'll let you buy a pair of shoes. <laughs> so I bought this lah. The reason why I chose this is because uh, for those from Ishun's uh, JC, right, will know that this is one of the house colors of Ishun, and it's exactly my house color. So I wore the color. <laughs> The please tell me your photo. Like, please tell me. I don't find it. It's very long ago. But, and this was well, a whole matching pair. So, this is the Morable pair. Um, I used to own quite a few. I think about three of them. This is the last pair that's left. That's so why I don't wear anymore. Shit. And these are not very expensive. I think like the time I bought it from Royal Sporting House, my last this pair, it was like 50 bucks. Uh. So, but this is more memorable than anything. Wow. The one that I like the most is. Yeah, so this is the. Linen Air Force One. Um, okay. Because I think I used to watch a lot of sneaker YouTube. So people like Fat Joe, Mayer, this is their favorite shoe. Uh, I have the OG, but that is in uh, my storage, my <laughs> family so storage. He has another storage. No, but that's only for a few shoes only. But this is the reissue yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, so amazing. Uh, this, this shoe is so nice to wear, very comfortable, and the material is crazy. Uh. So this of all the whole collection, I have very expensive shoes, very rare ones as well. This is not say very expensive, not very rare, but my favorite color and my favorite model to wear. Nice. Yeah. Air Force One is the white on white lah. So not this particular model. I don't own any pure white on white anymore. But the white on whites were my favorite because the last time. Hip hop videos, hip hop videos. Wore. Yeah. Dr. Dre wore it, yes, 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 Nelly yes. wore it. So I wore it also because I was very into like American basketball and hip hop culture. Like. So that's why a lot of my shoes you see is Air Force Ones. And the white on white is the, the, the first pair that actually I fell in love with. Yeah, then I saw other colors, then I started deciding like, yeah, uh, it's actually quite a versatile model to actually collect. Like. Quite a few different variations. Like. But yeah, like. so white on white. Awesome. Yeah, this one okay. interesting also, like, just take a look at the, the back. Like. Uh, Coke and Diamond Supply, friends and family. Oh, 
casually says white or whites are my favorite, but then he pulls out a freaking uh, uh, funny. Oh, this one was bought on grill, by the way. <laughs> like somebody, some friends and family sold it, and I was like trash. What in the world? I know you you want to lump this question together. So what is the sneaker with the best story as well as your most expensive sneaker? Okay. So uh, most expensive sneaker, I'll just take it up here. I think those who really are OG, they will know. Um, most expensive in terms of what I paid. Uh, in terms of the price I paid for it lah. So for those who do not know, we are not OG lah. No lah, those people yeah. will see. This is the Anaconda Lux Air Force One. So what the heck? It's a very old shoe. I think it's okay. about a decade old. Uh, it's wrapped up because the sole unit has blown out already lah. And I don't know whether anybody will actually be willing to risk doing this swap for me lah. <laughs> so uh, best story is that I used to work at a consignment shop called Walt in Far East Plaza. So at Walt, right, for those who remember, the back was where we kept some of our rarer shoes. So one of the ideas was the back was a pet shop. And one of the, the displays was a reptile enclosure with this pair and the crocodile pair at the back. So the reason why is because this pair is, at that time, the most expensive retail price pair in the world. And after many years of finding, I found a pair um, on eBay. The guy was actually quite uh, friendly and nice. He heard that I really wanted a pair. I told him the story. Anything to get the price down. Yeah. <laughs> and he sold it for me, I think, to about, I think I paid only 900 Sing dollars for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is actually expensive considering that most of my stuff are either retail or slightly above uh, resale. Lah. But yeah, so the interesting thing about the story is that after many years, I managed to get it. Uh, it's one of my favorite pairs in this collection. I got the thing that I always show people is the retail price. Lah. So you can see the retail price in USD, la. 2000 USD retail price. But then I don't know, for some strange reason, many people bought thinking that it's a very good resale. But then but in the end, did. nobody bought. So this is your most expensive shoe that you spent? $900. $900. $900. Mm -hmm. $900 is the most you've spent. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, I, can, I cannot afford. I'm an adult now. So, <laughs> guys, well, so I got $900, guys. $900. Other commitments is the know. most expensive. And, I, I, and we really saw like off-white press stores and like off-white box and boxes uh, in the <laughs> retail, other retail, all retail. All retail. Uh, oh, no, no. Okay. Uh, one of the off-white dunks is uh, bought from 7 Second Store. Oh. So, uh, uh, that time was only $800, which uh. is a good price. So what do you think is your most expensive sneaker in terms of value-wise value, value, value 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 in your collection now? I think, honestly, I don't pay too much attention on resale price because some of them are ridiculous. Uh, yeah. I see some PlayStations really. PlayStation yeah, Tiffany, Tiffany on top. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany is, yeah, but Tiffany's, these are, you can see, is, I don't wear them anymore because the value is, mm. you know, value is there. Yeah. Um, Supreme Blazers, I mean, value wise, uh, yeah, I mean, should maybe the 85? The 85? Uh, I think maybe the 85 though. <laughs> 85 paid $600 only for it. <laughs> but I think value wise, I think value wise about 1000 plus. La. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, la, I, if you talk about rare, rare. Okay, I take, I take one down, la, but this one. Yeah. Okay, let me take. In the meantime, intermission, let me show you guys this. <laughs> okay, so this fella has this sitting casually in his box. Oh, yeah. And like the 985s. Oh my god. The first time I've seen it, like, yeah. in person. Uh, really? Casually, yeah. Uh, and he says that uh, he paid $900. I still cannot believe that you paid. <laughs> no, this, this, is, this is the best one. The most you paid for a shoe is $900. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? I think yeah. most, most, maybe some, a lot of like, sneakers nowadays are uh, their first shoe already. 1K plus a deal, right? Mm. That's the thing about market now. La. I mean, mm. no choice. You pay you pay what your people are willing to sell you. La. Okay, okay. So, most expensive and rarest probably is this pair. Okay, explain. Uh, Kobe fans were probably oh yeah oh, oh so this God. is the Kobe Coston yeah. friends family twenty four pairs in the world mm. signed by Eric Coston mm. um, yeah la, so this is probably value wise the rarest one I have mm. um, not my size it's a eight I think mm. but it's for display purpose I told, I know a few Kobe fans have been hitting me up to sell to them but then this is the kind that you put on yeah, display yeah. for for exhibition so. one, <laughs> but yeah la, uh, Okay, so how do you get it? So basically, there was this uh, ex skater in Singapore who, mm. who started selling all his collection. I think he just gonna get rid of everything, and it was damn cheap. So I picked up a lot. Mm. I picked up this and a sample SB, and it's ridiculous at the price. I think mm. I paid less than two hundred for it. Mm. What the? F but what's the let's say what's the highest someone has offered you to to buy this? Um, 
People know I won't sell it la. Mm. But, 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 but what do you think the value is now? Like, okay, what is a price where maybe you will falter? You might think of it, might think of it. But you won't sell, but you we'll might. Make your heart shake a bit. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't sell that heavy more often than not. I think this one maybe. I know DS is like 8,000 now. Mm, okay. But this one is worn and there's no box, no nothing. For signature, maybe a couple of thousand. But then again, value is what you perceive it to be. Mm. Yes. Like if I put it on auction, a diehard Kobe fan will probably pay a lot for it. True. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, this one to me is unique la, because uh, in Singapore, I only saw two other people with it. Mm. And you think about it, at that time it was three pairs of the 24 are in Singapore. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, so it's insane. <laughs> la. But yeah, la, the Kobe cost. So, like in the past, I think it's really a flex culture. La. You just flex whatever you have. So, uh, I wore a lot of Jordan ones, like a ton of Jordan ones, even though to me, right, it is one of the most uncomfortable shoes in the world. <laughs> yeah, oh my so, god. Oh, <laughs> it, it is, it is. La. So, uh, Jordan ones, like, Chicago's right. I mean, I walk very often. Uh, these are beat like hell, but then yeah la. So these are the shoes that I used to rock very often. Chicago's, your Royals. If you really wanted to like flex, ah, uh, they don't wear because they all will fall down. Yes, sir. Your flex like you wear like your band ones la. Band ones like with the. Yeah, the this, this is which year? This one is oh. the one with the X one yeah. the outlet one. So these are what you wear in the past to if you want to flex, like go clubbing, uh, this one leather. Uh. You club in your Tiffany's bag? Uh, yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in Mendes. Back then it was what? Jackie, man. Jackie. Yeah, Jackie. 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 <laughs> also, you wear all these, like, you see, all these are like, trash. Oh, because, Supreme Blazers. Yeah, oh, you yeah. wear Rocket because, you see, all the scarves, all this from Dono, how I. Mattel, uh, drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so this kind of crazy shit, uh, but now it's all about comfort. Uh, so now, as you can see, these are all my beater that I wear. So, teacher shoes. shoes. Yeah, this is the teacher this is the one. Not only teachers, I uh, go buy food, <laughs> quickly go walk around like uh, hiking or whatever. Not Sleep the, in the new balances. Uh, Nana Zero V5. Uh. Oh, this one. Wow, it's an insanely comfortable shoe. That shoes are uh, maybe it was like maybe eventually maybe five years time come with that. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we'll leave up to the the, the, the label. <laughs> but yeah, new balances tend to be a bit more comfortable for me now. I have I have sold many shoes. So okay. people know that every year I <laughs> I will clear up stock so that I can put more. So usually it's the SBs uh, that I regret. A lot of them I sold. A lot of them are now astronomical in price. Mm. Uh, I sold, I sold skunks, the OG skunks for oh. like, I think two hundred bucks. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Is it just sold like two, a few k or something like that? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's two hundred bucks. The high tops, right? The high tops. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I thought it was a damn ugly shoe. It is. And at that time, the best part is I bought it uh, at one of the shops I was working at. And it was had it had an employee discount somehow. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! I thought like two hundred a lot of money already because I made like I think I made fifty dollars extra or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Then I think I sold my shadow ones uh. mm -hmm. the OGs, uh. Uh, Not the OG, one of the set one. Uh. Then I regret because now I don't have the complete mono color set, ah, which is a big regret. But yeah, those are a few uh, Mostly SVs. Mm -hmm.